Excuse me, sir. Can I bother you for a minute of your time? All right. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well on our way. $20 ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Morgan. Well, good luck to you. Seems a worthwhile cause. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Morning to you. Bonjour. Don't you support our veterans and their families? You seem full Think of joy. Think of what they sacrificed for everybody. Merci. You be well now. A bientôt. Hey, mister. Look here. Everything. Busy day? That's how you get the job done. And their loved ones. Well, keep at it. Be seeing ya. Good morning. Belle journée, n'est-ce pas? Always nice to see a smile. Huh. Hmm. Well, take care now. Adieu. Come on, folks. Mister? Bien, bonjour, Please, monsieur. You look like a man on a mission. Mm. So, don't let me keep you. Au revoir. You must be joking. Hey there, partner. Good morning, mister. You remind me of a feller I used to know. Sorry. Can't put my finger on it. Bye. Morning, my friend. Oh, no, baby. Okay. Hello. Sir. Hello. Good to see Manners ain't dead yet. You enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye now. What the hell? That okay? Hey, y'all. Good morning, sir. Y'all doing all right? Ah. All the best now. Au revoir. Morning. How's it going? Well, good luck to you. Good morning. Hey, wait up there. You here to try this town's wine or women? Or just whatever's cheapest. Oh, don't mind me. You looking for a volley of musket fire? This is Lemoyne Raider land. Sir. Be Hello on your there. best behavior, lest You're I doing stop a great breaking job. digits. Uh huh. Don't you push me. I said get out. The Moan Raiders strung up bigger than you. Good morning. 
Excuse me, madam, behind you. How's things? Fresh and fine, thank you. Glad to hear. Take care. Stay safe. Come up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This yeah, city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So, I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here, Anon. They say the auction's gonna be big as it's ever been. Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told them, I say, that's the state of Lemoyne for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> and that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'm a transplant, but I'm never leaving. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The rest of the states, they lucky to have us. If it wasn't for us, they'd probably have run back to Britain with the tails between their legs at the first sign of trouble. You got that right. Now, how can I help? You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scott. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte? Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally, a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know I get. Oh, hey, friend, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Morning. Hey, fellas. Morning. I can be staying with you. Come on now, this salting doesn't become you. You always have to be right, don't you? I'm just giving you the correct use of the word. If you're feeling sick, you're not naughty. Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. So are you done with the silent treatment now? No. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. Italian. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What it'll cost. I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Listen, Bob, Brad. Here. Come on. This way. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. 
Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Model on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? If you say so. Come on! You want to see Bronte or not? Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits! Let's go! Yeah, that yeah. fellow looks angry! You better stop right now! Good. Trash. You after that kid? That other shit went that way. Thanks for the help, friend. <sighs> hey, mister, you seen a boy running through here? I haven't, no. Maybe those gentlemen over there have. Morning, friend. You know, I kind of miss old Bob Tails. I don't. Bounced around so much, couldn't even read the newspaper. Remember when they had to bring the mules back out after the snowstorm in 95? Couldn't get the ice off the trolley wires? Technology. All well and good so long as it works. Hey, you see a kid about 14 years old run through here? Why, yes, we did. He went around the corner there. Thanks a lot, mister! That's enough! Come here! Yeah. Hey! Moron! Bye, mister! <laughs> hey! Come on! Run like the goats got loose! Damn it! Just give it up, farm boy! Stop, you shit! Don't you have pigs to feed? Just give it up, kid! My little fool! Hello. Morning, sir. Howdy. Fine day to you. I am. Hello, mister. Morning to you, partner. I'm telling you, a cucumber is definitely a fruit. Seth. Fellas, seen a kid come through here? About 14, 15? Oh, yeah, he ran right to us. Ran around the corner there. Life is good. Boo! I won't forget the sight. This is fun, mister. I like you. This is very strange behavior. Mm. Mm. What's the problem, friend? 
Give me my things, boy. What are you talking about, friend? I ain't your friend. But that kid is, and he robbed from me. Now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte. Senor Bronte. That kid was gonna show me before he robbed me. <gasps> Ow. Come on! You new in town, mister? Come on. Mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends, mister, but I ain't never seen you. We ain't friends. <laughs> you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why he gonna care a thing about you? I just want to speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friends should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. Get yourself some real food, I know huh? you got some money. Mm. Listen, you have to take this. Mm, that's real kind of you. I lost my money playing poker. Uh, I know where a good game is. Above the gunsmith. Uh, real? Hush, hush. Above the gunsmith, huh? Well, I'll keep that in mind. Another night alone. Hello, sir. This place going to hell. Would you mind backing up? Hello. 
Bonjour, monsieur. This here is how you pick up a reputation. Hey, mister. How are you doing? All right. Yes. Oh, hello there. Hello, sir. Gentlemen. Hello. Everything okay? Welcome to Kao Chao. I don't think I've seen you here before. When you're ready, have a browse of our catalog, and I can go out back and get what you're looking for. Let's have a look. We sell a lot of that particular item. It really suits you. Did you know a rifle barrel adds noticeable accuracy? We can do that to this model for a great price. I think that's the right choice for you. I have some better quality components if you're looking for the best, excellent choice. If the Italians keep taking from me, I don't know how much longer I will be able to stay open. We stock some of the finest quality guns in the South. Let me see what's available. That should be good.
Excuse me! Get out of there! This is a civilized establishment. Behave, please! Why are you doing this? Just take what's mine. You go get away with this. Madre mía. Please, por favor. No. Why do this? Oh my god. Stay away. Alejate Go de away de from una me. Oh merda. Get in there, come out. Dios, no. Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. Oh. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east to land we know. Far from real open country. Buenos dias, senor. New wrong and grave wrong. I'm telling you. In this day and age. Seems like every day is worse than before. Hey, partner. Susan, Joe How you doing? 
Howdy, fellas. Hello? Good morning, sir. Sir, will you help the poor? I so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do, and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, uh, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but you know, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. But San Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe it. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Back off of Sewer. Joseph. Got a few paintings over there. Uh, something for the wife, maybe? A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. Where are they? Uh, the, there's a door behind the bookcase there. Just put the big red book called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Gadgete. Hello? Hi, I can I? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Ayúdanos. Please, I'm on your side. 
It's gonna be okay. No, the hacky. Por favor. Por favor. Now don't worry. I'm on your side. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. ¿Quién es este hombre? No lo sé. Estamos libres y eso es lo que importa. Tenemos que confiar en él. ¿A dónde vamos? Hello? What Bring your skins and hides, folks. Clothes, equipment, saddles, all made right here. Good to see you again. Brother... Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Excuse me. Master. Whoops, oh, sorry. Just wanted to check you were okay. Uh, I hope you can get back to sleep all right. So long. Ah! 
Excuse me, but... What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. You know, strong liquor, over strong. Why, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. Yeah. But for shine, well... I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Of oh, shine? Oh, yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. Sport good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, it'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Hey. Por favor, it's warm. W, an upside down M. I, I don't get it. Oh, you will. It, it's like swimming, it takes time. But then it's easy, and the whole world opens to you. I hate this. It's too hard. Take your time. I lick. I lick. Like. I like the soon. Sooner. God damn it. What does that even mean? Watch your language, please. Summer. Summer. I like the summer. Don't worry. You know the letters. You know the sounds. You're nearly there. I've got no use for stupid books. I don't have any use for stupid books. If you ain't, why are you making us do it? No, you should say, I don't have any, not, I got no. <laughs> I think you may be confusing things a little now, Brother Dorkins. <sighs> Go over it first in your head. Take your time. Hello, sir. Sister, my friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. No offense. <laughs> none taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids to the worst! Don't hurt him, please! Meet us at the cathedral, Mr. Morgan. Oh, no, my mother gave me that when I was a girl. Yeah. 
Le perdono, eh? You, you are raised, right? Oh, you all right? No, oh, I'll live. Kid did this? Hey, you know him? He robbed me. Which way you go? Uh, that way, I think. Thank you. Watch, you little weasel! I don't know nothing about no damn watch! Last Saturday, I saw you steal it with my own two eyes! Maybe your eyes don't work so good no more. Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. This little shit ain't even worth my time. Thanks, mister. You want some company, mister? No. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. How? Now. I mean, uh, hey. Help. Uh, help. Hold on. This man is bothering me. Now. Someone help me. Officer, help. <sighs> oh, God. most resistant to it. But that's not a what reason exactly to give up on them. No. Much the opposite. 
Mr. Morgan! Excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> you didn't! No, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is... Greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice. Shortly before she passed, you are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorkins found me. I told you. Brother Dorkins was fantastic. Well, it is what it is. Hey, officer. Hello, mister. Hello, gentlemen. Hey, partner. Good day so far? Anyway, take care, folks. So long. Howdy. You waiting for somebody to do the work for you? Might want to get comfortable. I uh, ma'am. Ah, you ain't my boss. Wait. So, you heard anything about any, uh, bounty hunters in these parks? I have no idea. Yeah, I was just, uh, wandering. Tidigi. Hey, mister. Hello, sir. Hey there. Hello. I like you, mister. You have a kind face. Your face looks familiar. Ah. Hi there, ma'am. Hello. I can't seem to catch a break today. You'll get through it. Yeah, well, it can always be worse, huh? You take care. Hello, lady. Good to see you. Hello, madam. Hi there. Just wish today was over already. Things will get better. Buy me a drink, mon ami, huh? Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. <clears throat> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. <clears throat> How very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, old ass. Mm. Asshole? Mm. 
That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world, painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris, no. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Mm. I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art, it's for idiots. If you say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you, uh, but here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. day can get much worse. Things will look up soon enough. Thanks. Just the way it goes sometimes. Bye now. Ah. I swear to God, if I catch your man Johnny trying to steal our dogs again, I'll kind of get some more. This place is right back. Hey there. Hello. You look like a man on a mission. So, don't let me keep you. See you around. shit here. They just let anyone out, don't they? Yeah, I guess I'll settle down one of these days. Hey there, fellas. Looking sharp. Got something to say? Whoa, all right. Just passing on through. Go on, then. Yes, yes. Welcome, sir. I do love a first well, time. Hello, Mr. Manly Man. For some fun. No need to be gentle.
Leaving me, huh? Show. Sure. Yeah, we'll leave this there. No need. No, no, don't shoot me. I'm begging you. Okay, then, partner. Hold still.
fool's up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come right. on. All and I'll right. tall you, you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had it up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! in this town not looking like that scram <sighs> yeah i'm a little slow see could you say that again you piece of shit <laughs> 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 
that poster there's been a recall i weren't born yesterday this one's mine so you can go and get your own oh no you don't Is wrong Just with calm you. down, please! You wanna play? 
my game, what dude. What are you doing? Come on, then. No, Let's get play. off of me. Thank you. How I even managed to stay faithful to that goddamn psychopath as long as I did. Out of his mind. You should get out of here. I'm sure this attracted some attention. No gentleman covers his face in public. Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. So, um, what do you think, Arthur? All right, well. Come back if you change your mind. God almighty! We've had quite enough of your kind here. Idiot. They ain't as bad as you made out there. Bad, they worse than worse. No, it's not like for gossip. That's your mingle sort of gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies. Interested in a good hey, read? Full knows the topic for trumped up. But the dark Got you some other time. Jimmy Holdaker. of a heart attack. Nonsense. And Samson Black was set up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. You don't believe that, do you? Sure. And you call me a gossip? Anyway. How's your Tom? He's fine. Just fine. Marlene? Still with us. Have a fine day. Come on, boy. Need a ride, mister?
A very good morning to you. How do you do? Hey, y'all. Good morning to you. Everything okay? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, good luck to you. You take care now. Something about this place. That's all. Father, what do we say about a man who lost his way so awfully? He carried that awful war with him, rustling horses with a misguided gang of killers. A brave man, undone by pride, doomed to a life of sin and vice. Tell us, Jay, Father. Sir, we're in a moment of grief. Let us pray for this man, O oh Father, provide him mercy. Amen. Morning. I like you, mister. You have a kind face. Well, good luck to you. God be with you. Okay, then. You take care.
Hey, boy. Hello, boy. What is the issue here? I'm looking for my mate Gavin. Somebody help me! Gav? Gav? Stupid mutt. I've lost my friend. Somebody help me, please! Morning. Have you seen Gavin? You still haven't found him? No, nope. but I won't give up. He's lost. One morning, I just woke up and... He wasn't there. Someone must have taken him. Maybe he just left. Gavin? <laughs> no. No. We were best mates. I mean, really, best mates. He'd never leave me. Never. Gavin! Oh, I am so worried. Gav! Gav! Uh, Gav! Where are you? Where are you? Let's go, boy. This partner. is really worrying me. Gavin! Well, I'll be damned. You're back. What can I offer you? Let's have a look. Oh, 
I didn't expect to see you back here again. Listen, I'm real sorry for what happened. I was lost in my own head. It was very wrong. I see that now. Hey, <laughs> we've all kidnapped someone. We have? No, of course not. Oh, yes. Very good. Well, moving on. How can I be of service? That be all? Thank you. You think nothing can shock me these days? Yeah. What's happening to this place? Nice morning, ain't it, mister? Yeah. Hi, folks. Y'all doing all right? <laughs> all the best now. See you around. Hi, mister. Well, been a while since you were last here. Take a look. Any questions, feel free not to ask. Okay. Better not be stolen, all right? Okay. Sure, hand it over. Anything else from this shithole? Hey, folks. Ain't you had enough fun? Don't need no more of your mess around here. Hey. Good day so far? Uh huh. Anyway, didn't mean to disturb you, folks. Goodbye. Why, hello there, sir. Show me something I haven't seen before. Gentlemen. Hey there. Nice around here. I'm kind of new to these parts. Can I help you? a lot of that lately, but they always move. Pleasure doing business with you. Real good doing business with you. Thanks again. 